When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered around him, and he was led, um, and, and he was by the sea, excuse me. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue named Jairus came and said, when he saw him, fell at his feet and begged him repeatedly, my little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her so that she may be made well and live. So he went with him. And a large crowd gathered and followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all that she had and she was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, if I but touch his clothes, I'll be made well. Immediately, her hemorrhages stopped. She felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, if you see the crowd pressing in on you, how can you say, who touched me? He looked all around to see who'd done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Be healed of your disease. While he was still speaking, some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a commotion, people weeping, wailing loudly. When he had entered, he said to them, Why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. They laughed at him. Then he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about. She was 12 years of age. At this they were overcome with amazement. He strictly ordered them that no one should know this and told them to give her something to eat. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of the Lord lives forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One day, a young woman was walking home from work when she saw a little girl standing on the street corner, begging. The little girl's clothes were paper thin, they were dirty. Her hair was matted and unclean. Her cheeks were red from the cold. The young woman dropped a few coins in the begging bowl, gave the girl a smile, and walked on. But as she walked, she started to feel guilty. How could she go home to a warm house with its full pantry and well-supplied wardrobe while this little girl shivered on the street? The young woman also began to feel angry, angry with God. She let her feeling be known in a prayer of protest. God, how can you let these sort of things happen? Why don't you do something to help this girl? And then, to her surprise, God answered. God said, I did do something. I created you. Through faith, God makes us well. 
And through faith, God sends us to help make others well. You are invited to contemplate the many ways God has made you well throughout your life and contemplate the calling God has placed upon your heart. As we continue opening up to the word of the Lord, but now in song, uh, by hearing more from the old hymns quartet.